I rate the podcast five stars after listening to three episodes. I went and fucked my best friend's girlfriend. Oh. You're an idiot. Why did I come on here? So I don't know. I honestly couldn't tell you. I'm just kind of being a dick. Nah, it's my job, you know. That's what I do. <laughs> I wanted to make this smallish video about some YouTube drama, and I have a couple of videos and projects planned for the weeks to come. Recently, YouTube has been a real shitstorm. You have the return of Leafy, sort of. We have the Idub simp situation, uh, some ordinary gamer lampooning H3H3, and on top of all of this, we have what is, in my opinion, the most important and looked over bit of drama. The long and short of it is the streamer YouTuber Call Me Carson was cheated on by his girlfriend, Katarino TV, who is also a streamer, with one of Carson's best friends, Fitz, who hosts the Misfits podcast and has over five and a half million subscribers on YouTube. On March 12th, Carson tweeted out, This has been a very difficult decision, but after considering some recent personal events in my own mental health, I've decided I need to take a moment to step away. Going to focus on making myself a better person, thank you for your support. For those concerned about me, I recently started antidepressants and have been on a whirlwind of emotion and pain in my personal life. I recently started seeing a counselor a few weeks ago. Right now, I am in no way mature enough to handle the responsibility of this job. So from that tweet, people thought he was most likely talking about stress from YouTube, which is understandable. Notice he did not mention Kate or Fitz in this tweet. A Reddit user pointed out that since that tweet, Carson had deleted anything related to the misfits or his former girlfriend Kate on all of his socials, along with unfollowing both of them on Instagram and Twitter. Carson later confirmed that Kate had cheated on him with Fitz. Fitz's Twitter and Insta has been dead silent, and he has not been on the last few podcast episodes because he is supposedly out of town. I personally wanted to wait for Fitz's response to make this video about all of this to hear his side of the story. Knowing his personality, he was more than likely drunk or high when all of it happened, but it has been about two weeks since Carson confirmed what happened with Fitz, and many think it is too late for him to come clean, and that his silence is an admission of guilt in and of itself. In Keemstar's drama alert episode about the whole situation, he says that an anonymous source that is very close to the core of the issue has supplied him with information. I got this from a source that wants to stay anonymous. But why am I giving you a rumor on Drama Alert? Because my source is like very close to the story. Like very close, like inches away from, from the core of this story. So I trust what they're telling me. I personally have my own theory on who the source might be. And if you've listened to the podcast, you'd know that one misfit in particular is very, very close with Keem. I'm not gonna say who it is as it is just a hunch. Anyway, Carson said the only way he'd forgive Kate is if she puts out a statement admitting to her sleeping with Fitz. Clearly she didn't have the balls to do that because there has been no such tweet or message from her in the past 24 hours. In closing, i just like to say that Fitz, if you do not apologize or come out with a statement, people are going to cancel you, which probably will have an effect on those around you. I can definitely picture the podcast splitting up over this. Lastly, Carson did say he did not want to witch hunt against either Fitz or Kate, but that didn't seem to stop anyone. But I appreciate Carson being the bigger man. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll hopefully I'll see you in the next one. And Fitz, well, I just have one last thing to say to you. You are a fucking worthless, brain-dead, scum-fuck bastard, pile of trash, mental dick face that should be gunned down in the street like the degenerate